once again to Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Ebi West, wishing you life and direct from the heart of Africa. If this is your first time on this channel, this is a place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstitions, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, we are still on the topic of spiritual baths, and uh, I want to talk of uh, spiritual baths that is done in the river on stream. How to do spiritual baths in a river or a stream? Or the question rather will be why people do spiritual baths in a river or a stream? Uh, I think that should be the uh, correct question we should be having. Quite naturally, people usually take baths in a river, in a body of water. We as humans, we need to clean regularly. We need to take our baths regularly, as often as possible. If not, we are going to be very, very uncomfortable due to the fact that we are living entities and from the day we were born, we have started to die slowly. Our body naturally decomposes every day. Whether you like it or not, as you are growing, you are shedding off body cells, you are shedding off skin cells, DNA, uh, waste products, you sweat, you urinate, you go to the toilets, you do things every day as you grow. Cells in the body dies, you need to keep taking showers to refresh yourself. So people must take their baths. So in essence, every single bath that we take can be a form of spiritual bath in a way because you are cleaning, trying to refresh and renew your body. But uh, we go deeper as we begin to add other elements with certain properties, with certain point of view. So we can say that uh, the phenomenon of spiritual baths is uh, something that has been done for years, since the inception of humanity, in fact. So it is very normal for people to take baths in river and streams, but uh, many people don't know that uh, there's a particular quality or uh, attribute of flowing rivers that is very, very good for spiritual cleansing of the body. People don't know this, so they are going to expose that hidden property or that secret property or essence that is uh, inside a body of flowing water and why it is very good and why it's a very good practice to take your bath in a flowing water stream or river from time to time. Okay, so uh, what we find in spiritual circles uh, regularly is that uh, maybe some people we have some sort of issues that we go to meet a spiritualist, a so-called native doctor, Baba Lao, or pastor, man of dog, or man of God. They will tell you that uh, you go and bath in the river, you are going to read a book, holy text, maybe they will say read portions of the Quran or read portions of the Bible. If it's the Bible, it's normally they will give you verses from uh, the book of Psalms. Read some book of Psalms and go to take shower at this river at so so time and your problem will be solved. And the person will actually read the Bible. Sometimes the person will, they will put you on a fasting program, three days fasting, seven days fasting. Then after then they will say, go and take shower in the river. Then you go and take shower in the river and uh, the person believes their problem is solved and so their problem is naturally solved. So the question is that why do people, why do they ask you to take your baths in the river? And if most times it is not a pond, it must be a flowing river or a flowing stream. So the fact of the matter is that uh, science and modern psychics 
we have discovered that uh, flowing water carries uh, a lot of electromagnetic energy which can be electrical energies that flows with this water and uh, it has been discovered that uh, certain earthbound date uh, spirits low level negative vibrational deities that are connected to the earth low level spirits they cannot withstand this energetic electromagnetic uh, aspect of the flowing water they can't withstand it it washes them away it can even kill them in some times it, some cases it kills them it neutralizes them because they don't have that vibrational property that is in harmony with those of water because water naturally is life water gives life to the whole world the whole earth is 70 percent water the human body is also 70 percent water all life originates from water on this planet so water is remember the saying that water is life water is actually life what we find that that um, we have the principle of life and death in this earth okay it goes in harmony there's a circle of life from birth to death and goes again so the forces of death actually they are not really evil in a way they are actually doing their work of balancing nation so we have forces or deities or principles or sp spirits of this um, low level negative vibrations that are responsible for causing deaths causing illness diseases in the earth so when these forces of death comes in contact with forces of life they have to cancel out each other and most times the forces of life naturally if they are more in numbers they will kill or they will neutralize or they will destroy the forces of death okay that's why maybe we use water for cleansing in so many respects when you come in contact with um, organisms viruses that causes death what is the natural scientific thing you wash your hands that's why you see people always science will tell you wash your hands clean yourself all the time because water kills these viruses kills these bacteria, kills these forces of death these things that cause diseases that's why we have to keep clean we have to take our showers regularly so to destroy organisms that want to destroy our body that causes diseases in the human body we have to use water to wash them off it kills them so we remain clean that is why cleanliness they say is life is nearest to godliness and all that so we have discovered that water uh, running water kills lots of these spiritual psychic uh, entities so it's a natural principle so if you have been jinxed or you are plagued by these uh, negative entities and you don't know what to do taking a bath in a water in a body of water that is flowing very fast for some time maybe 10 15 minutes will naturally wash this evil spirits that are attached to you it will wash them away from your body and that problem will be solved or simply by crossing a body of water that is moving at full force we also stop this separate these entities that are attached to you we remove them from you or by simply taking a bath in a shower shower that is a high pressure shower taking your bath on top of uh, inside that shower we actually wash this day, this so-called negative entities away from your body and uh, it has been proven this is the main reason why it works why this system of taking a bath in a fast moving body of water river or stream actually refreshes and actually drives away uh, negative energies or entities that are attached to you from your body in uh, ancient west africa in nigeria 
if you are from Nigeria, we have many stories in ancient times when you have two tribes fighting and uh, one tribe will run away from the other tribe. These are myths of many tribes, especially from uh, the Niger Delta, Europe, Ijo, they have this, and Igbo in Western Nigeria. They always have this myth of how they were running away from the ancient Bini Empire and the Bini warriors will always chase after them and then this particular tribe will cross a body of water and the enemies were never able to cross that body of water. You can do this research about uh, ancient uh, tribal myths, origin of various tribes in Nigeria, you will find this very very common about our tribes we are running from another tribe and how they cross the body of water and the other enemy tribes we are never able to cross that body of water. As a result of this, many of these tribes will dedicate themselves to that worshipping water that water is their savior. Because they will say in the time past when our elders were running away from the uh, oppressors, they cross the river, the oppressors always cannot cross. You can see this story clearly in the people of Abraka in uh, Delta State. They claim they ran from Bini, they crossed the river. Bini warriors could not cross. We see this story with the Sumo, the Onisha people in uh, close to Asaba. And they were able to run away from the Bini warriors. They crossed the river Niger to the other side. When the Bini warriors got to the edge of the river, they could not cross. They keep saying, I sabi, I sabi. In Benin is a land, it's a word that means that we cannot cross, we cannot cross. That word has translated to the name of that city, that place, and I call it Asaba today, meaning we cannot cross. This is from the Igbo speaking tribe of how some of them ran away from Benin to form their own kingdom. We can also see this in about almost 10 other Rubo tribes, how they cross river. So we say that they could not swim, then they they crossed on the back of crocodiles to the other side of the river and so they started venerating crocodiles so we say they were crossed by snakes helped them to cross or chase the, uh, the enemies back but the fact of the matter remains that they were running from something and they crossed the body of water and whatever they were running from could not cross that body of water and so their problem was solved we also see this clearly in the so-called Christian Bible of how the people of uh, Israelites were running away from Egypt and they also crossed the body of water and the Egyptians could not cross the body of water and so they were saved or rather they went into the water and the water closed all those Bible stories that never really happened but the fact of the matter is that they crossed the body of water and the enemy somehow could not cross that same body of water and so they were saved for so their problem was solved. Now, we have discovered now with modern uh, experiments that uh, certain headband deities, very highly negative, toxic uh, headband deities, uh, spirits, they cannot cross a body of water. They can follow you everywhere, but immediately you cross a body of water, always a tiny hose, a host, high pressure hose that have water running through it. Once you cross over that hose, they cannot, they will just remain on the other side. It's somebody that have really experimented on this a lot. It's a Australian psychic that is called Robert Bruce. He wrote a book about the issue, the Practical Psychic Self Defense Handbook. It is on the screen. It's a very, very good book about how to use practical methods to protect yourself against psychic attack. In his book, uh, one of the best books on the subject, I recommend you to get the book. Uh, the book is actually on Scribe. You can get it on Scribe. Uh, it's a very good book. In the book, he detailed many experiments that he did on this very subject of using high pressure water to actually exercise or cast out uh, people, uh, negative entities from people that were possessed by them by using a body of water in the hose to circle the possessed person 
and thereby tightening that host to cancel out or remove the negative entities from the body of those people. There are so many experiments he did on this very issue of how to use running water to wash out psychic uh, uh, attacks from your life, to even exercise it from, from people. And they are very, very effective. And I have been able to confirm this, uh, what, that what he's saying in the book is true, that running water actually removes certain negative, very certain negative deities that are attached to people. Even underground water, water that is moving underground in a sewage pipe around the cities, you cross them. If anything is attached to you, that, that those kind of spirits, they are going to uh, remove themselves. They cannot cross running body of water. So sometimes it's actually good to travel from time to time across uh, great distances. Maybe you are having problem in a city, you just cannot find your feet. Things are not working for you. It's better for you to travel across a large body of water sometimes to start afresh. What we happen that what well, those spirits, those negative entities that are naturally that we attach to you in that place, they cannot cross that body of water. So they are going to remain on the other side. So probably they will be waiting for you to come back so that they will attach themselves to you immediately you cross back again. So sometimes it's good to travel and uh, leave some things behind. And you can actually uh, research on this principle, get that book. It's a very good book. I will also use, uh, I have read the book. The book details many simple uh, different types of negative entities from the most uh, the less aggressive ones to the most aggressive ones and different practical methods you can actually use to get rid of most of these deities some methods can simply be by going out in the sun to drive some of them out just by exposing yourself to a good amount of sunshine regularly we chase away many negative entities from you by using high pressure running water to bath or bathing in a river, fast moving river or stream can flush out many of them from you as well. So it is a very good book and uh, it's one of the most practical books that I have seen. And the one good thing about this book is that uh, it is well written and uh, it did not even make, there's no allusion of you invoking any deity or any spirits to solve this problem. The methods you they have lined up, making use of positive affirmations, keeping yourself clean, having a positive mental attitude, using music, playing good music with high vibrational frequencies to chase that uh, negative uh, psychic deities from your house, from your surroundings. And simply using water, water and running hose, water, water in the shower to chase out the spirits. Very powerful, simple method of uh, banishing psychic or uh, poison of deities, spirits from your house, from other people. So I want you guys to get the book. The book is not uh, a waste of money. It's not a waste of money. It's a book that you will use, you will keep in your arsenal. And, uh, you're going to be using the book, referring to it from time to time, and you can use it to help a lot of people. But the main cruise of the book is that uh, running water have been uh, is very very effective in banishing or removing negative toxic uh, uh, entities that are attached to people. So if you are living near a river or stream, you might consider going there to take a bath from time to time. You should not do this in a pond. Stagnant water does not work. Don't, in fact, stagnant water contains lots of negative, highly negative deities. So we should not take baths in stagnant waters. It is the opposite of running water because most times people that do uh, painful rites always use stagnant waters because it says water that does not move anywhere. So if you want to tie down people's progress, they use a lot of stagnant waters for doing those kind of spells to hold people down, cause people to just uh, 
stay in one place and just rot and just waste away. So we should not use stagnant waters. Running waters are the best. Streams, running streams and uh, running rivers that is flowing. Those are the best to use. So if possible, you can cross them or you bathe in them you, like 10, 15 minutes and uh, you'll be fine. The way some people will tell you to do this is that when you bathe in it, as you are coming back, anything that you wore, if you're on the rails, you should not wear that on the rail. You should let the on the rail flow along with the river. That anything you wear in, you must not wear it out. You must throw it into the river and let it just flow in. It's like a symbolic uh, thing of like uh, you leaving the past behind, you changing into a new leaf. So any on the rail you wear into that river, you make sure that uh, you don't put it back on again. You don't take it back home with you. You just let it flow with the river. Or better, you bait naked. And uh, for this kind of spiritual bath as well, you might use a black soap. In Africa, we have the black soap, Dudu Oshun, uh, that people normally use for spiritual work. We also have red soap. Some people in the Eastern Nigeria use the red soap. We also use white soap most times because white represents purity. So your simple locks or joy soap is just fine. And uh, we use the native swench. Native swench is simply a swench that is made of like a wood. I call it bed nests. You can see it on the screen. This is what we use for spiritual work because uh, it's native. It's what ancient Africans have been using for thousands of years to take their baths. And uh, it is disposable. Normally, when we do these spiritual baths in the native traditional way, you don't reuse that swench. So, any swench you use to wash off any negative uh, attachments from you, you have to throw that swench away. You will not take that swench on. So, when we use this, uh, if you are using a regular swench, the type you use everything in your house, you have to throw it away. You don't you are not going to reuse it because uh it is not supposed to be reused it's like you are bringing back the thing you are washing away you are bringing it back into your body so if you are using your regular swench just know that that swench have to be thrown away and uh that's the more reason we use the native swench because native swench they are cheaper they are much more cheaper and they are disposable you can use maybe you want to do the bath three times each time you have to throw away the swings, but if you're using regular swings, they are expensive. You have to be trained them. And native swings is much more natural. It's made of wood. The regular swings is made of plastic. So if you can get native swings, it is good. If you cannot get it, you might get some leaves, some soft leaves to use, uh, or you can make your own by getting wood and trying to pan the wood. To smaller parts to shivel it inside you can get that it's uh, fine but uh, if you cannot get any of this you use your regular swench you do this in the river the swench and the soap you have to throw them away you have to go with the river with your on the rear that you wear so you will do this most times in conjunction with a particular river deity Maybe you have any river deity you are venerating, you might also call them. Maybe after giving offering to them, you will also then do the spiritual bath, had it at, in attachment to the rites that you just did, just like the one we did in the sea. After giving your uh, offerings to the sea deities, you also do your spiritual bath, you bathe in the sea. And we do the same thing for the river too. After giving your offerings, you also bathe in the river. Uh, then you take some water, you go back home. So this is simply how they do the spiritual baths. Now, some people are picking time for doing this, depending on any deities you are working with. Some people will say, do this in, in the beginning of the moon. Some will say, do this on the full moon. Some we say do this on a Saturday, some we say do this on a Friday. Well, there is no uh, particular uh, demarcation. You do it according to the time that you have and according to how your own spirit or intuition tell you to do it. That is always the best time to do it. 
If your intuition says do it on Friday, you do it on Friday. If it says do it on Saturday, you do it on Saturday. If it says do it in the morning or do it in the afternoon or do it in the night, you just follow your intuition, how the spirits guide you to do it. So there's no particular time frame for people doing it. People just follow their intuition in this particular case. But the most important thing is that you do it in running water because running water has been discovered to chase all these entities. For more evidence and more details, I recommend you reading this book. It really went, uh, David Robert Bruce went into details in explaining his uh, experiments and outlining it out for you in this very book. So you are going to know a lot of things by reading this book about the effects of running water on psychic or negative low-level deities. You are going to know a lot from reading the book. So I recommend you guys to read the book okay so this is what i have for you today on the issue of uh, why people do uh, spiritual baths in running waters in the river or stream and why it's very good so uh, i hope that you enjoy this lecture and that you find it useful please like and share this video once again support this channel hit the notification bell and uh Questions or comments are welcome as usual. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye.